Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Settlement Survival. Now this is a sponsored series where all throughout the week I've been building this brand new settlement to celebrate the game's 1.0 launch on Steam. Now if you want to check out the game for yourself, please do consider clicking the link in the top comment or in the description. It'll just take you straight to the Steam store page where you can learn maybe a little bit more about the game. And you can also check the playlist of videos so far in case you've missed any previous episodes. So... To catch you up on what we've actually just done in one of the previous episodes, we kind of built our first salt works. We got a butcher's up and running. I was actually saying at the end of it, I didn't feel like I actually did that much, but we did advance some technologies. We built the storage warehouses, things like that. We set up a second logging camp. Generally speaking, the rate of construction material has improved and increased quite a bit, although we're still just always short. We're always trying to build things constantly, and we just never have enough material to get it done that quickly. Currently under construction, we're going to be building a new house a curing workshop which is going to take that salt and take some of the fresh meats that we have in our new butcher as well which we built in the last episode so we're making meat chop we could actually tell people not to consume that as well thinking about it might risk it just for a little while there is no food in the settlement though so we're going to stock management we'll go to what is it meat chop and say just don't eat that don't eat it raw <laughs> Uh, but it'll be used for processing, so hopefully it can be combined with the salt in the curing workshop to make something that's going to be a bit more sustainable and stave off the death that is inevitably coming our way. Um, speaking of, we're actually over 100% in the happiness category, which is great. It means that we are lowering our food consumption by 10%. If you go into the agitated, which is between 50 and 100% happiness, uh, they consume 10% more food. Currently, we're in 100 to 150, so no effect right now. So that's hopefully we can keep it there, although we're really right on the edge of, you know, slipping back into that. So we'll see. Also then, like I said, we're also building the small trading post. So that's going to allow us to set up caravans, which you can typically load up about five people, send them out away somewhere, and then they'll come back. They'll improve their relations with the different factions. We haven't even touched on any of that. As we build up relations, you unlock more things. So, um... There's all these different things to kind of get. So if we deal with Meow here, hopefully I've said that right, we get a private school, tofu, dense farms, dense orchards, forest farms. You can get hardwood nurseries, which can be used for tools as well. So you get all these different recipes for doing different things. Date seeds, date sugar, etc., etc. Loads of stuff. There's five levels uh, to everything. So, and then I believe at the end, you can actually get like blueprints for big buildings and things like that that we don't have access to at the moment so there's a lot of progression in the game to kind of play through and play towards towards the end like a great temple symbolizes prosperity of the town and provides faith and happiness for a large number of citizens but some of the citizens will be sacrificed each month so i you know that's actually a super interesting one i had no idea about that uh mineral rich increases the output of silver and products from gold miner cabins by 100 percent. so there's so i mean i've barely even crested the the top tier of all of the technologies here. I haven't even gotten down to like, I hesitate to call it level two because there's no direct leveling system, but you know what I mean. We've only really dealt with the base category of materials and things so far, so, so much to do. Anyways, so one thing I was thinking of doing is actually getting rid of, because space is getting a little tight here, we have our market, we currently have four people homeless, we've got a new house that's being built. I kind of want to free this area up for more living space, some more housing and stuff, so what I'll probably do is demolish the two sawmills, which I believe we get everything back for. I just want to double check that to be sure. Um, construction, we did construction techniques, we've already gotten that. Demolition actions required 75% of the time, and material recycling means that the raw materials of demolished structures can be 100% recycled, not including upgrade materials. Okay, that's fine. So they haven't actually been upgraded, these buildings. Um, the upgrade symbol would be, for instance, here. Where you can put different things into them uh, to improve them. We haven't done that yet, and we should get the raw materials back. It just used some basic raw material stuff, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's not like refined materials like planks, and I think even then you get that back. So that will put us down to just the one sawmill, giving us... We have a quite a low amount right now of domestic fuel, but houses have a good amount in them. But obviously we're just setting up new houses that's put a strain on it. So it's a little risky demolishing these and moving them right now, I guess. But I'm going to probably, I'm just going to do it. So they're going to be demolished. We're going to get the materials, keep those materials, just rebuild them a bit further out towards maybe over here where we've got other sawmills or this one here where we've got the other forestry hut. Uh, yeah, actually maybe just down here by the waterfront to be, make a bit more sense. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. All right, time is playing. We'll just speed it up just a little bit. Uh, going to be keeping an eye on that food situation the whole time. We currently have 68 adults, 
29 children who aren't working and 15 who are students at the moment. Um, so yeah, lack of raw materials, so they need more meat. We should be able to get more meat though, I think everyone's just been eating it. That's the kind of problem there. <laughs> I wonder is it too risky to tell them just don't eat anything we're currently getting. I think I should wait to do that until the farm yields come in. It's an interesting thing, we're just right on the edge, it's like... We saw in the previous episode that if we eat the broccoli raw, we get hunger 8. Whereas if we let it go into the building to get turned into veggie salad, we get hunger 15. It's almost twice as good if we can just let someone work on it. But people are so hungry, we don't even have the, we don't really have the time to be able to do that. Because we need m probably multiple of these buildings up and running, doing their thing. Now, we've actually got seven people not really doing anything. I have told them to chop some wood, so we're getting that in right now, which is nice. Uh, we could actually get a bunch around here, seeing as it is May. It won't be too far, too cold to go get that stuff. In fact, gathering plants as well would be another good one, just for the very edge there. Hopefully that helps a little bit. So, a little sit rep on the current situation. So water is full again. So you know what? Just forget it then. Get off that. We'll get more people building. They're already maxed out, so the most amount of builders. Great. Okay, so again, for a sit rep, current situation. We also have loads of clothes. So we got four out of four on fish. Just for the food, really, is what I'm most, um, you know, passionate about right now or interested in. Four out of four for fishing. We then have hunting is three out of three, as many as we can have. The gatherer hut, four out of four. Working their, you know, working overtime out there. Uh, and I guess that's it, right? We've got some people making salt. Uh, we're doing our curing. The farms have been, you know, the farms have three people each on them. I suppose we could increase this, maybe just help that out a bit couple extra people on each farm back up to five each that should help things just a little bit last year we got 2178 I'd be interested to see if it goes more because I don't know what people do during the year in fact let's see if we can find out any information to survive food so in the food category fields once you have the seeds you can grow crops on the field most crops are edible and blah, blah, blah. late or slow sowing may lead to crops not being fully planted Crops that have not been harvested in winter are likely to die. Therefore, sufficient manpower must be allocated to the farmland to ensure smooth progress of planting and harvesting. But if the farmers can already cover all the work and harvest the crops before winter, assigning more workers will be pointless. During the slack season, farmers will help laborers carry out handling or gathering work without having to unemploy them. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. It's like, is this the slack season where we're just waiting for it to grow? People are out there, you know, swinging around their hoes. I don't know if that's doing anything, so maybe we don't need people out here. If that's the case, though, it did say they'll just do be laborers anyway, so I guess it's not really a big problem. Just time to gather that little bit over there as well, again, while the weather's good. And, um, it's a bit micro-intensive, but let's go to diet. Raw food. Yeah, most of these meats, I'm gonna say, just don't c let anyone consume them. We're hoping that they get turned into... Meat chop, because this can use pretty much any meat to do that. Venison, duck, goose, turkey, chicken, donkey meat, horse meat, pork, buffalo, beef, alpaca, and mutton. So hopefully that at least allows us to, if we could just handle a little bit of hunger for a while, this allows us to don't eat any of the raw materials, let it get chopped up into meat chop, don't eat the meat chop, and then wait for it to get cured, in the curing workshop. We haven't even built that yet. We are short on iron ore. I suppose actually another thing we could do. That's why I'm wondering, is it a little premature telling them they can't eat it right now? They can still eat the fish. I haven't limited that. That's fine. Eat the fish raw. Sushi, if you will. Um, so what do we have? Five people not doing anything. Five laborers. Okay. Well, at least wood's coming up. Stone's all right. Or is okay, we just have a heavy demand for it for all the different buildings we've got. I'll just speed up time then. So harvest comes, oh, that's the 45% ripeness, 40%. It seems like you can harvest early if you just, if you want, no big deal. No animals available yet. This person is resting, this person is tracking, that's good. You're going to hopefully get some animals, and you're hunting as well. Boom! What did you get? <laughs> I just saw him take down a buffalo, I guess. 
Well, we didn't get one. I'm just trying to get a cub, a little young buffalo. I'm just going to get rid of some of the pips on screen. We don't need to necessarily see that or that. Tend to get reset when you load back in. Fuel seems to be not so bad. And again, we got the materials back for those two buildings. So we could put our houses in there or something else. So we'll want to build those again. But we'll get these up and running first. So they just need to be built. They have the materials. This is just lacking a little bit of iron. Okay, not too bad then. So yeah, let's um start putting that back down. Another sawmill. Is it not in resource? Oh, it's in processing. Sawmill. So uh, I guess we could do one out here right next to the other sawmill just to keep things together. Or if that's got... Yeah, that's one wood industry. Maybe the other wood industry is kind of over here. So if wood could just kind of flow straight into this area, that'd be nice. So where's the end of the circle? It's about here. So be it. I suppose we could make the pastures even bigger, potentially. If nothing's in there anyway right now, why not just demolish it, make it bigger and fit the size here, I suppose. Okay. And then we'll just tell people to gather everything here as well. Good. Okay, well, water is okay. Clothes, tools, everything is pretty good. Fuel is a little low and then food, basically. And we've told them not to consume the broccoli. That will get changed up in here, but we have to wait for the first harvest. So we're at 80% almost. Uh, so there we go. We have our small trading post. We could send people away on a caravan. Let's just have a look at it. So we can send them to the different, the different kind of um, factions. So you can actually have a look at what their prices are for different things. Uh, and see kind of what the best rates are between everyone for certain things. So, for instance, we've got a lot of... Well, do we have a lot of anything? Water, I guess. The best person for water will be Rania, if we wanted to sell some, which I don't. Um, clothing, maybe. So, clothing, we do have a lot of rough clothes stored up. So, perhaps we could search for that. Rough clothes. So, Carlos looks like he'd be the best for it. 8.4 for that. Uh, that's for buying him for buying it and then for selling it. Okay, I'm assuming it's their purchase, right? Now clicking buy, it looks like the button is actually down, but it's not. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just making sure. Uh, yeah. Maybe we could just load up a few. Just try this out. I, I don't know. Well, I'm really more curious to buy something. We've got 1,500 silver that we got through events at the beginning of the game. Um, so we could form a caravan and say selling. Let's just put in a small amount of rough clothes. Why not? So we could say not to you, to Carlos, please. Sell. Uh, rough clothes, maybe 41. Leave us with 100. So that's 41 out of a 1,000 total weight. Total price, 344. Sell. Now, that's 7 people that would go away. The risk of death, 2.6%. I'm going to send 5. Oh, man. It doesn't even feel worth even 5. Let's go 4. 8% risk of death. I'm, I'm rolling the dice. More people in the caravan lowers the risk of death, but will prolong the trade time. So it's actually much quicker to have less people. 180 days. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so 41. And then we're going to try and buy something from Carlos. Um, so what can we get? I mean, we're desperate need for food. So potatoes are quite cheap. Hmm, potatoes. And he's got all this meat. So I'm going to look at literally... Can I filter? No. Well, the cheapest thing seems to be potatoes. Like, or, you know, anything that's 0.05. So, I mean, I hesitate to just buy broccoli, but it would give us the breathing room to both consume and make it into vegetable salad, for instance. So, sure, I guess. Let's try that. Because I don't really need anything else other than raw materials. We can make everything ourselves. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's just try it. So, broccoli. I don't know. What's 500 broccoli? It's 500 weight. Total price. It's pretty cheap. Let's go 1,000 then. Load up a whole broccoli wagon, basically, and bring it back to us. So that'll be our purchase order. And that's it. So round trip, 180 days. We're going to Carlos. We can carry a 1,000 currently. We're not looping this. We're just doing it once. Four people are going to go and do it. We're going to sell him 41 clothes, earning... Uh, did it say how much we're going to get for it? Uh, 340... Oh, sorry, it's right there. 344 silver back, and we're going to pay 850 silver to get the broccoli, I assume. So let's form... That's already taken the cash from us. It's actually done the full deal, both to and from. 
that's interesting because there is a chance of death, but I guess it's saying like, ah, oh, your goods are going to make it there in the end, but they might not make it back, right? All right, and there we go. That's as simple as it is. So there's the caravan trip heading out. Now the dock that comes in, when you build a dock, the ship that comes in, I should say, deals with, you, you have to spend silver coins. I don't think they take goods, something like that. So it, it works a little differently than this. And you have to wait for them to come around to you, obviously. So we'll keep an eye on it. 180 days. So what is it? July? 180 days? So pretty much the end of the year. They should make their way back, hopefully. 8% chance that they don't. Or someone dies. I don't know if it's everyone. So we'll see. Now they're going to be loading that up with clothes, right? First. Yeah, so we can see the lines going out that way. And then I assume four people just get loaded up. We've got five laborers, so we'll see if that happens. Because I'm not assigning people here, so I assume that's how it works. There's the merchant ship, speaking of. All right, food is piling up. So yeah, we've actually got some meat stored that we're not using. And then this person is going to turn it into meat chop. And I just want to make sure that I've told them not to consume meat chop either. Yep. All right, cool. All right, things are looking good. The plan is coming together. We have the curing workshop. So they're going to be taking... We want to make salted meat or salted fish. So 10 and 20 equals salted fish. Salted meat, 16 and 4. Well, let's try and do that. So we're going to have to wait for the meat chop. They need 16 of it. So it's going to take a little while to get their stuff. Oh, actually, we have 20 in reserve and we have 65 salt. Excellent. Great. This should be super easy. <laughs> uh, so let's just assign more people to it then. Make sure it's always working. So that's going to be the goal today. It's to figure out these food problems and make sure we don't run into that fuel problem. We've kind of balanced our economy here with something in every category, but everything's low. <laughs> so there is that. And then we want to put people on the veggie hut as well. Soon enough. We can take people off the... Oh, there we go. There's the, the pack of four. Off they go. Out into the wilderness. Godspeed. Um, speaking of, actually, can we just gather some plants? Anything that's just like able to be gathered locally is pretty good. Just to help us in the interim. All right, the harvest has begun. So we can turn this building back on. Three people in there, and they should be able to start making veggie salads. And hopefully food sustenance gets much better. We have lowered, fallen down below 100 again, unfortunately. Not sure why. Maybe garments are lower than 20%. Two citizens are homeless, and 17 are hungry. I guess it's probably the hunger that's doing it. But we're, we're banging out better food now, guys. It's going to be salted meat. Just wait. Just wait a few days. <laughs> Just don't eat the broccoli, please. But yeah, I do worry about that. I feel like some people are going to start dying. Oh, yeah, we just saw one there. We have 72 adults right now. Can we keep an eye on that number. 10 out of 18. Oh, what do I let them? Cause, well, they can, eat the, they can eat the chickpeas. Eat your chickpeas, yeah? How many more people do we need to harvest? We can't have anyone else harvesting. So, yeah, just do what you can in there. Janice, farmer, died of starvation. 10 out of 18. Okay, come on. Chickpeas for everyone. Just, just everyone just run out to the field and eat. Really? <laughs> Why not, you know? Or go out and grab some mushrooms. Go feed yourselves, for God's sakes. I have to do everything for you. All the time. Nothing but complaints. It must be so annoying, though, for them. It's like, oh my God, we've got hundreds of food just in storage. And it's like, yeah, but we're going to make it into salad and stuff. You'll love it. Meanwhile, people are just dying. Processing goose meat into meat chop. All right, we've made some salted meat. Hunger 20, excellent. What's this? Hunger 15, so this is our best food uh, stuff yet. And we're still giving them fish all the time, all year round. Last year we had a thousand fish. Um, that's a lot. So I obviously would like to be able to salt all of that fish. So until we can get this economy up and running where they're eating more sustainable food it's gonna be really difficult because they're just eating out the bottom tier of resources all the time but I think we need multiple production buildings to get it working efficiently um, clothing situation is still pretty good they're planting gathering planting and cutting down it does seem like it's gotten really sparse out there this one's doing okay though maybe I should tell them just to plant here for a while and stop cutting trees
Although we've got 300 wood. Oh, wow. Okay, great. So things are good. All right, then what do we build? What's next? Um, yeah, I'm not sure because... Oh, yeah, we want to be making cut stone. Yeah, someone can go in and work on that. We've got some excess stone now. And then I generally just wanted to... We need about 40 cut stone, I think, to get the boiler for heating so that we use less... Yeah, and then I need to get that sawmill. So the sawmill's been built right now as well. Okay. Yeah, things are looking okay. That noise meant we finished the building. What's the deal here? We've finished making tools. Excellent. All right, you can get off the building. That's cool. Storage-wise, 800 water. Not even at 20% yet. That's good. Anyone else dying? Uh, Lionel died of starvation. It's 11. <laughs> I say it like it's nothing. I'm not happy about them dying, but it's... It's gotta, it's gotta happen, because I just can't feed the people. <laughs> so, one less mouth to feed, and more time for us to make something better out of it. Um, now, a couple more homeless people. Happiness is at 100. 99. So close. Let's just give them another house in here. Hopefully that helps people out. Vic is cleaning up with dried animal dung. Of course, that's something else I forgot. We can use dried animal dung to make the uh, thing. In recent days, one particular citizen seems to have been sleepwalking. No matter how much all the others call out to him, there's no response. And he continues to, uh, he continues on without eating or drinking. People around here are really worried. Force him to wake up? Wake him up? Don't wake him up. Uh, yeah, I guess wake him up. He awoke from his sleep. It seems that I have a long dream where I was alone in the desert and couldn't get out no matter how I tried. And now I feel so hungry and thirsty. I wonder who it was. This is the only hungry person we have left. Ah, that'd be fine. Uh, so yeah, so we need to say... I'm going to try to dried animal dung first. We have 20 in reserve. I guess it's not worth it then. Forget it. Just both, I suppose, is fine. One worker in there. That's okay. That's offline. How much? How many reeds do we have? 41. Sand. 145. So we've got loads of sand and loads of clay. So we can take them off this building as well. No need to have that running unless we're building something with it. Uh, the reeds, I suppose, would be nice to increase that so that we have just more in general to do stuff with the knitting workshop. Good. They're making their veggie salads. They made 290 so far this year. 120 meat chop and 45 salted meat so far. So maybe we need another meat cure. I'm not too sure. Like, I guess meat chop is on zero for reserves. And salt is on... Yeah, maybe we need more salt. <laughs> so difficult to balance it all. At least for me. Oh, we got that house built super quick. Holy crap. Great. Yeah, so this repair house, I'm going to remove that one as well. And put it on further out. They can have it here. So I'll just say, uh, let's go. It's a service, right? Repair shop. Fits in nicely here. Let's just tell them to put it there instead. We're at 125 stone. I think it's time to get those stone roads everywhere. Or in most places. Just on the big major kind of streets, I guess, for now. That should be enough. That was a... Actually, quite a decent amount. And we still have a lot of builders in there, so they should all get to work on that now. Six builders. Carrying, doing, carrying, doing. Love to see it. Zero births. October arrived, Brooks Street School. Cool. We're at 72 adults. That's all right. It's not that many deaths. 11? Yeah, so two people died today. Not a big deal. Or three, I guess. It's okay. They're all on their way out anyway. And yeah, I'm really happy. I can't believe we have this much wood. It's excellent. Allows the sawmill to keep going. This other sawmill here can start making stuff too. Maybe we can stay ahead of the fuel problem, although we just hit, we just crashed uh, for fuel. Four citizens are freezing, but they'll just wait to go home. Yeah, so obviously want to get ahead of that now. So the faster we put people in this, the better. Um, but we're a bit short. So let's say, forget that, forget that. Get in there. Alright, so that's a second sawmill making firewood. 
we did have a third one, but we never ever needed it like to be fully operational, I don't think. But now with a few of these extra houses, we probably do. So we'll build another one right down here as well. And uh, maybe just temporarily, we'll just have a little storage yard that stores up the logs, timber here. And firewood for them to work with. They're just going to have to clear the area of reeds first. I'll probably change that eventually, but it's okay just in the time being just to have something for them to store quickly. So, let's say... Excuse me, not firewood. What is it? Uh, timber. So the timber that comes from the, east, the place to our left. Sawmill. Can't remember the word they use for it. Domestic fuel. That's all. Just those two things be stored here, please. All right, so food is climbing. We were on zero, now we're on 305. Uh, beverages, 548. Water's getting a little low. Again, we could pull some of these people out of the mines and stuff now. Like, reduce that down. I think we're okay. 254. Yeah, let's bring it down all the way to two. Get these back up and running. Cranking out the water. Of course, it should just get stored here, so that should be relatively efficient. Nice. Okay. Still no candy. I wasn't able to ever get them their candy. Happiness has climbed. Food spoilage or um, food consumption is going to go down. New tech point required or acquired. Not even sure what to get at this point. Trade insurance. Unlock the function for buying insurance for caravans. The town can get compensation if the insured caravan is met with a mishap. Nah. <laughs> Never get the insurance, right? <laughs> It'll be fine. Refined fuel exploitation technology. Oh, we're not going to be building anything like that just yet. God damn, there's so much. Lighting, cutstone, bridge building, agriculture, fodder for the animals, actually. Might be good. And compost for our farms. So use the dung in a compost plant. Can process dried animal dung into fertilizer. Grants 50% production bonus. I think that's definitely worth it. Let's do that. Now, how much cutstone have you been making? We've got nine. Six in total. Wonder it probably just hasn't been delivered yet. But um How many people do we have in there? Four? Okay. Whoa, okay. So we have four laborers not doing that. I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit more so I can kinda get my head around different things. So chickpeas were pretty good. We made two thousand two hundred uh, two thousand and twenty seven last year. Thirteen hundred broccoli. We're still using all that broccoli, right? But yeah, we've got 257 left. Still constantly using it to bang out the uh, the veggie salads, of which we've got 540. We should be even storing that now, I would imagine. No? Apparently not. Apparently not. It's just been consumed instantly. But we have some base resources. Some people are still a little bit hungry, but not too bad. Once they all get this good meat into them, these good veg into them, should be totally fine. This year we made 85 salted meat. So if you run out of those meat chops, I want you to start using fish. I wonder would it be a better idea to use fish just generally because we have so much of it coming in. A thousand during the year, you know? Whereas meat doesn't seem to be as much. Maybe we'll just let them eat the raw meat. Fish provides eight hunger. What does this provide? Eight, yeah. I think it'd be easier. Although it's more expensive, isn't it? You use more salt, okay. I'll leave it then. Okay. This whole place is regrown. All the trees are back. Maybe at the beginning of the new year, we'll just set another order to go out and harvest a lot of that stuff. Uh, these guys are just set to planting. I guess they could maybe do both again now? No, keep planting. We've actually got so much timber. It's crazy. I've never had that issue or that um, good problem before. We've got too much of something now. Excellent. We've got those extra houses. So there's still one person without a house. Okay, let's give him a house. Three citizens are cold. Fuel reserves are low, but we're working on it. I'm working on it. Three more people are going to go into this sawmill. We've got lots of timber, so it's just a matter of getting it delivered here and refined. That's all. We've also just built stone roads almost everywhere. We're very low on stone now because of that. Spent pretty much all of it. We'll be good to get a stone road out this way, seeing as it's so long. 
All right, what else we got? We have a compost plant now. Can process dried animal dung for, into fertilizer. Fertile soil grants 50% protection bonus. Put it somewhere up. Ooh. It's got a whole area around it. Um. Oh. Does it just fertilize immediately around it and you have to put the farms in there? Is that how that works? Could be the way it works. I'm not too sure. Let's just see. If I was to place this here... Again, could try and move it. Don't really know how it works. But farms maybe around here then get a bonus. Maybe this part of the farm will get a bonus. This one already has a bonus. Just looking over on the left again. That fuel situation is pretty rough. I did let it. I knew that was kind of going to happen when I was getting rid of the sawmills. But they're back up and running now. It's just a matter of getting people in there. Getting them making that domestic fuel. We're chopping away. Caravan returned to the town. Awesome. Did we get the broccoli? That's what it was, right? It was a thousand broccoli. Where are we? Inventory. 860 broccoli. Boom. Yes. Love to see it. So this now... Can we just dismiss this? This would be to send it off again. I told it not to loop. So not sure. Do we just get rid of this then? Can't seem to do anything with it. Maybe it's not fully back yet. It might just be on the map and not back yet. Hmm, not sure actually. I'm guessing this will just go away, right? When it's done, it should do. Dismiss factions price. That doesn't matter, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. I'll just leave it for a few minutes. It'll probably go away. Last time, they kind of came from over this way. I mean, it's in the inventory, so I assume they got there. And people are using hand car Oh, wow. When do we get hand carts? They're carrying all this stuff out. Excellent. Bring it over to this place. Let them make more, more and more of that veggie salad that we're so famed for. That's given us a way of getting broccoli throughout the, uh, the, the winter, actually, which is kind of interesting. Maybe we have to wait until we take everything out, actually. That could be it. Four citizens are starving, three are freezing. Can't believe people are starving. <laughs> Lack of raw materials. The meat chop isn't coming out at a good steady pace. Could you maybe now make some salted fish instead? Got plenty of salt. We have 60 in reserve. The, everything's just getting in, eaten instantly, so <laughs> you don't have time to refine it and make it last longer. Uh, that's why I banned everything, but it hasn't really worked out that well. I guess we just need to get more base food and more refineries to make more stuff out of it. So more people making meat chop, because we should have lots of different meats. Do have a little bit. Um... I'm really hesitant to let them have broccoli, but <laughs> I feel like I should. And it's February, so we can get people back on the farms now. They're still working on fuel. Raw materials for wood is good, ore is pretty high, so maybe we could just pause this now. If people get on the farms again. I feel like I'm barely on the edge of surviving, like, all the time. There we go. Yeah, the caravan's reset. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have anything to ship off. Maybe iron ore. I guess I could look at prices for iron ore if anyone wants it. Meow gives a little bit more for iron ore. Just quickly write in iron ore. It's 5.3. That's way lower than it said in the prices screen. That's what I already get. It's at 6 point something. 5.39. Not that I need the money, actually. We could, just do, we could just do a pure buy order at this point. Bring something in. I'll leave it, though, because... Whoops. Because I need every all hands on deck, really. At least we're keeping above the food consumption rate. Still happy about that. 
Only barely. And everyone has houses. We're just... People are a little bit hungry. They are allowed to eat the fish, but we're also trying to salt it so it lasts longer. So we go from... 8 hunger to 20, so it's over twice as good if we could just make that salted fish and give it to them. But I just don't think we're making it fast enough. And I cannot for the life of me believe that I still have not got another an animal. Or if we have, I haven't have, I don't have a pasture at the moment. So, agriculture, let's get that other pasture back up and running. It was going to be something like, I guess we'll actually leave a little gap just in case we need to build a road there. So leave a gap. I don't need to leave a gap at the back of that. 12 by 12? 12, 11 by 11. 121 logs. God damn. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's for the fencing that goes around it. Jeez. 12 in total deaths. Fertilizer maker. Make fertilizer. Water and dried animal dung to make fertilizer. We can get at least one person maybe doing something. Uh, let's wind back the amount of builders we have now. Okay, so that's five, that's ten people on the farms, is it? No, sorry, six. Well, we can see the numbers here anyway. Clothes are starting to get low again. Leather should be pretty high. Someone died of old age. That's good to see, actually, that, you know, that they're not just dying of starvation or anything, so. But there are eight people who are hungry, eight, nine people. It's like we're just barely feeding the people that are, you know, getting their stuff. As soon as we make it. No more tools. Basically no more iron for a while. 269 iron ore, so that's good. Alright. Let's take a moment to zoom out and think about what we could do. So I'm just going to maybe put in a little gather all order again. Somewhere just up here, up here. Any little bits that we can be gathering. I'm not sure what to do for the economy now, you know, like... I'm trying to get food up and running, but I'm finding it very difficult to think of who I have free to replace. So you might think I'm just biding time doing the same thing. But I'm waiting for people to come of age. Like, people are coming of age all the time. And that's more hands on deck. Like, another farm, for instance, would be just absolutely killer, right? That, that would really do the trick. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing that this is the bonus to the soil. Because it's not like I can give this farm fertilizer. So I'm guessing the bonus to the soil is literally just placed around it. So, hmm. Maybe we could try another farm. Don't know if it'd be weird. A standard field is actually pretty small. You could put one right there. Another one here. That can't go there because the knitting thing is in the way. So yeah, some of this stuff will obviously have to move. Desperate times, though. I'm just going to put it there. So, again, with this, chickpeas, pea seeds, oats, squash, maybe? I don't think it matters, really. I guess just more... I mean, we don't need more broccoli. We're working all year round making the vegetable uh, stuff. So maybe something like, I guess, peas? They could just eat that immediately. 18 per grid. Harvest time, 125 days. So it has a longer harvest period than this does, but it's the same output. So I guess we should just go with this, right? Chickpeas are pretty good then. And it is March, so it's sowing season, so hopefully they can get there in time. And I wonder will we get that little bonus from this. Such a mess though, I <laughs> have to move these buildings for sure in future. 150 is the next population milestone. How many do we have, actually? 115? Not terribly far off. Don't think I'll be able to grow it that much, though, for a while. All right, I'm just going to speed up time even further. I can't believe, yeah, still fuel situation is still a little rough. It says that we're not making as much as... We're consuming, but it did say that before, even when we were, so I'm a bit confused by that. Surely three, like two sawmills over here and this one, and they are working all the time, right? We have the raw materials for it. I am consuming a lot of wood now over here. So yeah, let's tell these guys to fell trees now as well. They were just on planting before. These are on both. 
felling and planting. So that's okay. So can we maybe, yeah, let's wind down some production of stuff that we don't really need anymore. Maybe just a little bit, free up a little bit of that. Take one person off water. Maybe lower back salt just a tiny bit for, for a temporary amount of time. Although I say that, I'm actually not even sure what I'll do with these extra people. So we just freed up five people. Really, I want more wood, but everyone's working these buildings full to the max. Everyone's working the sawmills to the max. The repair building is back up and running. No one's homeless. I guess, actually, now we can make clothes again. So that's good, because we need leather. We have 150 in reserve, so we should be able to make rough clothes, no problem. Although leather's getting low overall. I guess another hunting cabin, really, at this point. It does say, hunters will hunt for the nearest animals for meat, fat, and leather. Okay, I'll just put another one somewhere, I don't know, out here. 40, 15, and 15. Okay, prioritize that. Oh yeah, gold dust. I forgot about that. We could trade for that, maybe. I wonder what the prices are for gold dust. Gold sand, 105. Oh wow. Holy crap. So if I was to sell gold sand, we have 90. Oh, sorry, the price is 90. I don't know how many we have, actually. 54. So we'd make 5,000 doing that. Oh, wow. And that's to Carlos, if you want to build up his reputation more. So crap, who was the person that bought it the most? So buy. That's for us to buy it, right? I think. And then sell. If we're selling it, that's how much they'll buy it for. That makes sense because they're buying. They'll will buy a potato for more than we can sell it. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. All right, gold dust or sand. Gold sand sell. One oh five. So meow is the best person to go with for that. Then so sell, gold, sand. Fifty four. Hundred and four a piece seems pretty good. Nice. So yeah, we'll list that to sell. And then to buy with 6,000 gold. I mean, we can bring in a big fat caravan then of whatever we need. Like just more food, I guess. It seems to be the biggest problem. So again, cheap food, rice, veggie salad, 2.55, peasant bread, toast, cookies, croissants, wild veg, vegetable cans, jam. A lot of this stuff is kind of tempting. What's the most expensive? A feast. Oh my god. 150 hunger. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Popcorn. Tofu gives 150 hunger as well. Happiness, 40. Price, 23. Let's just do it. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Let's get some tofu. So we don't have enough for that. Let's go 200. 4,600. Easily able to do that. 200 tofu. That should fix all our food problems forever. <laughs> now why can't I form that? There are no laborers. Ah. Well, we have five. Five percent chance? Let's go. Give me 200 tofu for 150 hunger each in exchange for some of the sand, and we still make some money, right? Yeah. So once that loads up, the silver coins should change hands, I guess? 220 days. Expected profits, 1,069. Risk of death, 5%. It's not going to happen, though, is it? 5% never happens. <laughs> That's what that means. 1,200 water. I think we need to kind of increase this, because it's probably not enough. All right, good. I mean, I'm making plays. I don't know if it's going to work out, but the tofu should buy us some time to get better food and bring up the economy in other ways. We're, we should be making leather now. They're working on making rough clothes. Clothes have just basically started to run out. Four people, six people are still hungry. The farms have been sown with seeds. 20%, 40% for ripeness, 49% for that one. So that's okay. They're out of stuff. They can't make the salad. What about down here? They're out of fish. So let's switch this back over to salted meat. Should have built up some by now. 
172 meat chop. That's more like it. Let's go. <laughs> Got plenty of meat chop. And have we set up this yet? No. So we're still waiting on some logs for that. Fuel is coming up finally as well, which is good. Storing it here. Domestic fuel. Nice. Okay, I've solved it. I mean, happiness is actually climbing, believe it or not. So painful, but I feel like things are getting better. And people are coming of age. So, we've got five laborers not doing anything now. So, yeah, I don't know. Seven people have been in the quarry this whole time. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that makes me want to get another gathering hut then or something. So we can get even more. Or just another farm. Yeah, so maybe I'll move this. The shoe situation. We actually have 58 shoes in reserve. Hallelujah. So, yeah, I guess get rid of this. And then we'll build another farm somewhere around. Can we maybe... I don't want to get rid of this just now because we actually need it. We kind of need to move that over. And we did make some fertilizer. So I guess that means that this fertility bonus is active, I think. I assume that's how it works. Yeah, no reserves of broccoli. That's okay. Now, you could put a, a limit on all the stuff that I guess veggie salad is made from. The way we've done with meat. That might be the best thing to do. Buffalo meat. Again, no animals, eh? Still no animals. I mean, that just doesn't make a lick of sense. But, okay. Just haven't found any. It's crazy. In my little test run at the beginning, I found like two or three types of animals really fast. Just from having a hunter. They just say, hey, I've just found one. And then you can just pump them in a pasture. And even if you've got one, they grow. <laughs> or they breed. I guess you find a pregnant one. Um, but yeah, we've been very unlucky with that. Three citizens have no tools. Uh, okay, we can get tools back up and running then. We have tons of iron. Not much timber. But that's just because of all the extra build projects we have. We are producing enough timber. Water is done, so just get off that then, I guess. We'll keep just one person making it for a while. Yeah, more people have come of age. Alright, the population is actually starting to kind of explode. We're at 80 adults, so this is good. Happiness is good, just about... Making a decent amount of stone again, and we've put stone roads almost everywhere. We're also making a regular amount of cut stone. In total, we now have 30, which is actually what we needed to start doing the heater. Uh, I don't know if I ever got that in the tech tree. Heating, there we go. So we've got zero tech points right now. So we can't get it. But that's what I wanted. Boiler room and required cut stone. Actually, we needed 40 anyway. A marquee. This structure can be placed outside of marketplaces. Can hold 10 citizens. Provides food, water, and insulation. A kind of crowded quarter. Living in it will prevent further reproduction. Suitable as makeshift settlement for immigrants. Oh. I had no idea. We've also then got drinks. A tea shop, a winery actually gives you a health bonus having a winery. Well, I've got no tech points anyway, so we can't do anything. The tech, as we've been going, it gets, you know, obviously you require more and more each time. That's one benefit of a school is you're producing tech. So having 15 students in there all the time is good. Hmm. Not sure what to build then if all these free extra people. Let's get someone in there. I suppose let's add a fourth person to each farm. That's okay. Leave that empty, leave that. That's all good. Everything's good. We'll have to just wait for the harvest. It's currently July. The harvest is coming up soon. So we might as well just turn this building on. Let them work it. They'll figure it out once they need to. Otherwise they just become laborers anyway, so it's not a big deal. Good. Things have definitely been getting better. Still not optimal at all by any stretch. Not even close. Um, tempted to get another fishery though. Maybe put it over here. Just really try and solve these food problems. Fishing dock. Yep, something like that. Get a road that can lead out, maybe. Can we get a road on this side? I'm guessing they can cross over that little spot, hopefully. If not, it'd be really unfortunate. 30 planks. Do we have that? 74, 116, and we've got loads. Easy. 
So yeah, we've got plenty of room now for those extra hunters, so let's just get them all lined up. And then we'll get some people on fish as well. Great. So food is climbing. Water is good. Raw materials could be better, as always. Tools could be better, but we're working on it. Textiles, we actually have shoes. We did move the knitting in order to get another farm. So again, we could just go with another standard field. Just put it somewhere here. It doesn't really matter. Let someone work that. And that should be food problem solved. It's got to be, right? For a while, until we get, obviously, more and more people. But now we've got so many people that we can at least spend the time refining some of this stuff into better things. The broccoli has been turned into veggie salad. This year we've already made 610 of it. And of course we did buy some food, so it's not to forget that we've propped up our economy a little bit with that. Has this uh, departed, by the way? Yeah, sorry, 97 out of 220 days. Last time we did that, the money exchanged instantly. This time it doesn't seem to have done so. wonder why. Hope it's not going to fail. <laughs> Should have got the insurance. Alright, 15 stone. Yep, that's all good. Alright, great. Feeling pretty good now. Croppage. Yeah, so you can get oat seeds and turn that into like... Um, what's it called? Uh, fodder, I suppose. Uh, flax can also be used to turn it into clothing and cotton and stuff. Or linen, sorry. Um, or we could just go with more food. Chickpeas for the win. <laughs> Alright, everyone's doing something now. Total population still 115. We've got 16 tombstones placed down there. Is there someone out playing in the graveyard? I saw what you were doing. No animals available. I'm hoping this other hunt now with twice the amount of hunting going, we've gotta find a goose, a chicken, buffalo, something. Five people still hungry. I'm shaking my head at the at what's happening there. I can't believe people are still hungry with the amount of food we have. It's just not being processed fast enough yet. We're curing that meat left, right, and center. 143 cured meat this year. Salted meat. 125 salt right now. Again, another one of these I guess would be good. A curing workshop because we could be doing fish and um, regular meat at the same time. I guess that's really the, the goal and then have all these different farms going at the same time as well. So lack of raw materials. They can't. They don't have enough dung. We don't have any pastures running so it's hard to get this to operate. Well, we seem to have pulled ourselves out of it. A thousand food. I mean, that's from the harvest. 856 broccoli. That's been converted into this. Three people are only hungry. So yeah, I'm basically doing it. No one's dying of... Someone died of old age. I don't think anyone's starving, are they? One person, July, year 10. So in July, someone died. That was a few months ago of starvation. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, again, people want more houses. 17 citizens want more houses. Really would need to get interim housing now to kind of stave off the population growth for a little bit. Until we figure out food for the current amount of people we have. Uh, I think I'm just going to wait for this to come back in. So it's got 60 days to go. And that'll be the end of it. We'll make that big tofu gains. Everyone's going to be eating good. Fertilizer maker died of old age. God bless. We ring that bell every time that happens. <laughs> but man, what a learning experience. You know, if I was to do this over again, I guess I'd be going for the reservoirs much earlier. S definitely trying to store up way more fuel, building forester huts way earlier as well. And just trying to store up things in advance of expanding. I think that's my biggest problem is I took on people without having the underlying economy first, relying on the people to build their economy. Uh, probably not the right way to do things, kind of built top heavy in that regard. But you know, learning experience. I, I just didn't think the game was as deep or difficult as it was going to be. And I'm playing on normal. You can play on much harder as well. All right, start getting some fish. We don't have anyone need to even work the building at the moment. So we could reduce down maybe. Got plenty of stone now, so four, that's plenty. 
still that amount of builders. Four and four and four and two and two. Yeah. Fuel is coming up as well again. The building is closed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like that the boat's even covered in snow. Yeah, water is staying consistent. Even with just the one reservoir there producing water, it seems like it's totally fine. Like a thousand water is in storage. Not even in the houses. So. Wow, that house is built super quick. Uh, Alright, let's see where we're at for the thing. It's got 18 days before it arrives. Hopefully then loading up with tofu. Please don't. Risk of death was 5%. So hopefully five people are coming back. Bringing back the tofu from the Orient. Sort of like Anno 1404. If it's the Orient to get all those interesting things. That's why they make rice and stuff, I guess. Hey, there they come. Nice. Where'd you get those pack animals? <laughs> Caravan returns to the town. Revenue, 1,069. We're rich. 2,000 gold. Your reputation level reached. Hey, there we go. We have bamboo seeds, bamboo baskets, and size paper mill. Some cool buildings that we could get. So, yeah. If, could we actually just start growing that now anywhere? Uh, not sure. Bamboo seeds. It probably has to be grown in, like, an orchard, I would imagine. Does it? I would imagine so. Oh, sorry. It actually says planted in a forest farm. All right. We don't have one of those yet. That's cool, though. And then I guess you refine that and make bamboo baskets. Did we ever make baskets, actually? Logistical equipment. I feel like I told the knitting workshop to do that, and then I forgot to rebuild it again. What a disaster of a place this is. <laughs> Two knitting workshops next to each other with the road cutting in between them. So they came back, but we don't actually have the people... Oh, I guess you have to wait for the caravan to unload everything, and then we get them back. But that tofu, man, that should, give, that should be good eating for a while. Everyone's free to eat it as much as you want. No more hunger. Citizens are still freezing. Don't worry about that. That'll go away. That's just people out who've been out a bit too long. But that's 150 hunger, you know? People should not be hungry now for a long time. And that should be just chickpeas galore. Uh, in future now. Now that people have staved off hunger for a while, I think. And then we'll build both of these knitting workshops. We got an extra load of fish coming in. We're curing the meat. It's all good. I barely, barely stayed ahead of, of what was happening here. 17 people died in total. But that's going to be it for me and this playthrough. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I genuinely really, really did. It was so... Like, I just didn't expect the challenge. I knew it was like a banished, similar banished game. But I kind of looked at it from the outside thinking like, Oh, it looks a bit more approachable, a bit more friendly. Um, but not the case. It's actually just banished, but way deeper. Way more stuff going on. I mean, I can't believe I even breached... Barely breached the tech screen at all. So, super impressed with the game. Really, really enjoy it. Definitely recommend it. <laughs> you know, I'm obviously sponsored, but... So you can take it with a grain of salt if you wish, but I'm telling you that I genuinely re recommend it. Uh, and no one's holding a gun to my head to say that. So yeah, so check it out. Settlement Survival over on Steam. If you like Farthest Frontier, Banished, these types of games. I mean, comparing it to Farthest Frontier, this seems to have a lot more in terms of... I mean, Farthest Frontier is still in early access, but this has got a lot more in terms of progression. The different factions you can trade with. I like the fact that you actually get buildings and cool unique items from them. And think of like all the items that we've seen in this screen. Like in fancy food, for instance, if we just expand that. Fruit pies, delicacies, picnics, pumpkin treats, chocolate, popcorn, glue pudding. You know, there's so much stuff in the game. It's kind of crazy uh, how little we've actually seen. So yeah, pretty impressed with it. All right, that's going to be it for this little series, this little mini series. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry I didn't do too good. Uh, I actually did play beforehand, and I was like, oh, I think I get it, but obviously, obviously not. But I kind of get it now. <laughs> it's the kind of thing where it's like, oh, man, I want to do it over. So that's a good, good, good to leave you wanting more, I guess. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next series. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.